Welcome everyone to a little bonus video for Let's Play Twilight Princess. Today we're going to be gathering all of the remaining fish for the fishing journal, as well as showing off all of the lures you can use here in the fishing hole, and some other esoteric stuff along the way. So far we only have the green gill and the reek fish, which we caught during the main story. For those who haven't seen it yet, the green gill was collected in part 1, the reek fish in part 18, and I also got a skull fish in part 12. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is show you the frog lure. I got this for beating a roll goal and crying myself to sleep. It's supposedly best for catching the Hylian bass, but pretty much every fish in the pond seems drawn to it. All it really does is bop around on the surface. Nothing too special besides its appearance. However, this lure does have a somewhat obnoxious property. You cannot hook a fish when it bites the lure without giving it a few seconds. Otherwise, it just pops right out of the fish's mouth. Anyway, this is the correct way to catch a fish with the frog lure. The customer in question here is the Ordon catfish. It and pretty much every fish in the pond can be caught somewhere else in the world, but they're all available right here, so you needn't bother. Also, you get nothing for catching one of every fish, so you needn't bother, period. But hey, I wanted this to be kind of the be-all, end-all of Twilight Princess Let's Plays. But that's why this is a bonus video and isn't in the main LP. The next fish is a Hyrule Bass. This is supposedly the fish we got the frog lure for in the first place. Now, I don't actually get this guy, because one of the things nobody tells you about the lure fishing is that when a fish jumps out of the water like that, you need to hold the Wiimote forward a little to give it slack. Otherwise, the fish breaks away. This here is me learning that for the first time. Another weird mistake you can make is reeling in the fish close to the boat, but far enough behind you that you can't pull it out of the water. So let's do it right this time. Rather humorously, this guy didn't feel the need to jump out of the water. Maybe he caught on that I finally knew what I was doing. And the last fish I'm gonna catch here in the canoe is the Hylian Pike. This guy eluded me for a little while. I caught him further north from where I caught the last two. In fact, that little hole right in the middle of the pond is actually a good place to find all three fish during the night. During the day, they're fairly widespread and sparse. But during the night, they all seem to congregate in that little area. Yeah, see? I know what's up. For those curious, you don't actually need to spin the nunchuck in a circle. Just shaking it up and down seems to work. With those three out of the way, I figured I'd show off the other two lures you get when you rent out the canoe. The first one I'm going to use is the popper lure. This guy works by splashing the surface of the water. And pleasingly, that doesn't scare the fish away. In fact, it's supposedly good for catching fish deeper underwater. Now, you've already seen me catch fish, so I'm just going to give a demonstration of the lures in action and then move on. Amusingly, I was trying to catch this exact bass for a good while, but he never took notice of my lure. This one actually attracted him, so well done, popper lure. But onward to the spinner lure. This one works like a miniature motor. It says it's good for nervous fish, but I've rarely had a fish that didn't eventually go for the lure. Oh, it's cute. Well, hey there, Pike. Nope. Gonna do some things on dry land now. 
First is this little area to the west, or east if you're in the GameCube version. You can catch little bags of rupees here. So yeah, the game never wants you to run out. They give you money every opportunity. Here I was trying to look for a secret item, but I ended up catching a small version of the last fish missing from my fishing journal. The Hylian Loach. This is apparently a legendary fish, but I managed to come across one of its babies. And you know what? I'm fine with that. I've got one, I don't need to go looking for any more. I'm done with the fishing journal. But I am not done with the fishing hole yet. What I was trying to catch over on the west bank, I managed to find here in the northernmost part of the south bank. Now, I read that you have to be facing directly north, or else you won't be able to find this. I can't say whether that's true or not, I can only say that I did manage to catch it while facing directly north. The Sinking Lure. This lure does what it says on the name, allowing you to attract pretty much any fish. It's also not allowed, so if you want to use this lure, don't do this. Rent out a boat, and have Henna join you as a guide. She gets hilariously upset if you try to select the sinking lure. Oh. Hey. Well, she took my sinking lure. Thanks a lot, bitch. You can use the sinking lure if you just hire a boat and go out on your own. Henna won't know if you caught a fish with it. But yep, that's everything I feel like showing off to you here in the fishing hole. Some of the other things you can catch from the bank are tin cans and boots. The game will briefly turn environmental and ask you to dispose of the waste with A. And there's one of each fish you can add to the fishing journal. And like I said, you get nothing for it other than a sense of pride for having truly done a 100% run. But I'm not done yet. You guys remember the forbidden skullfish I caught in the lake bed temple? I also said you could catch one of the bomb fish. I sadly don't manage it this time, maybe, maybe I need bait, but all the bomb fish does is peck at the lure and then eventually scurry away. This went on for like five minutes. It's too bad, but it tells you the same thing the skullfish said. It's forbidden and won't be added to your fishing journal. You do get to add it to your bomb bag as a water bomb though. Quite amusing. And finally, for one last yuck, did you know you can fish in lava? No, seriously. There's nothing in there you could catch, but for whatever reason, the game treats molten rock as a body of water. Silly developers. But that's going to be it for this video. Next week is going to be the final update for the Let's Play. It's going to be a two-part finale. We'll be storming the Hyrule Castle, and then having our final showdown with Ganondorf. See you then.